and I'm Stéline. My name is Emeline and you're watching ETA to Z on Arts TV. Have you ever heard of Kolo? This Ethiopian snack is a mix of roasted barley and other grains. It is known for being filling and cheap. Today, I'm gonna try and make my own kolo with seble. Let's go. Seble, and that mesh, denanesh, and kwandenak oyesh, dena. Seble, what are we going to do today? Today I'm going to show you how to roast kolo from barley. There are many types of kolos. We have kolo made from chickpeas, suf, and also wheat. But today I'm going to show you how we prepare kolo made from barley. What are the main steps to prepare the gebs kolo? Before we prepare the kolo, we need to buy the barley. We separate the chaff, then we boil the barley and we let it sit a bit. Then after we roast it on a bread metal. We must be careful not to burn it when we roast it though. And jammer? Let's start. We've already boiled the barley. Can you see? Now that it's boiled, we'll bring the bread metal. Then light our fire. We'll add small wood for kindling. We don't need a lot of wood. A small amount will do. Now we'll start heating up our bread metal. Bring the plate and give it to her. Our bread metal has heated up. It's enough. Can I try? Oh, it's not <laughs> We push it around until it's roasted. Is it a snack that you can find on the streets? Ah. Yes, uh, it can be a snack or it can be your meal when you're hungry. It makes you drink a lot of water. A lot of people like kolo. I've heard that uh, usually during extended uh, fasting periods, monks and priests eat kolo. Is that true? Oh, uh, nivalalu. Yes, they eat kolo. Lemon. They don't eat injera or other food. What are the benefits uh, of kolo? Kolo gapsena. Kolo comes from barley, and barley gives you energy. They also drink a mixture of water and basso. The drink also gives you energy. A lot of things can be made from barley. Yes, it's almost done. How do you know when it's ready or not? It changes its color when it's done. It's done. You can put it in here. Mm. 
That's it. We're done. Or do you want to do it again? Uh-huh. We'll let it cool off a bit. We're going to grind it. We do this to separate the chaff and the boil. We'll add it inside the traditional mortar. So this is the traditional way of making kolo, Adela? Yes, this is the traditional way of making kolo. We don't use any kind of machinery. This is the same methods our mothers use to make kolo with. Okay. Who is usually using uh, a machine? Big businesses that must produce and sell kolo in the cities use machines. But this is the way we prepare kolo for our households. This method is usually used in rural areas. This method is dying out. A lot of people don't use it anymore. Again, you, when you prepare kolo, is it only for your family or do you also sell it? I usually prepare it for my family, but sometimes they commission me to make kolo for them. Yes, it's quite different. How long does it take to grind um, the kolo? <laughs> it takes some time. In order to get rid of the chaff, we have to grind it twice. Do you want to try? Okay. And it may. What is this, brother? Quite good. How can I do it better? You have to do this daily. <laughs> it's called Mukecha. Mukecha. Oh. Is? Zana Zana. Zana Zana? How? <laughs> do you see the difference? Oh. Huh? Is she? Can I eat some of it? Yes, you can. Yes. Do you like kolo? Are you sure? Do you see the chaff? Ah. Can you see it? We need to grind it a bit more. Uh, it's good now. And uh, now? Uh, we'll take it out of the mortar. Mm. We need to grind it again. Stand over there so the chaff won't get on you. This is how we comb it. Doesn't it look good? Madam. When we grind it a second time, all the chaff will be gone. What are the next steps? We'll add oil, berbere, souf, and chickpeas. Once we add those, we'll wash our hands and mix them. Can you explain to me, please, what we're gonna do? We're going to mix them. We have kolo from barley, peas. These are the peas. We have souf. Hey, souf, no? Hey, chickpea, no? Hey, yeah. Dabo kolo. Dabo kolo. And the sun and We're going to mix them all up with the barley kolo. And that's a rash dabo kolo. My sister is the one that makes it. First, after preparing the flour, we add a bit of salt, sugar, oil, vanilla. 
Vanilla? Yeah. Yes, we add in a bit of powder, then mix it very well. When we do them traditionally, we do them like this. We thin it out like spaghetti. Then we cut it into small sections with scissors. This batch was made with a machine though. It is. Now, we're going to add the berberi. We're going to add the oil into our berberi. Should I mix? Yes. Mix it well. It's enough. We make a bit of a space in the middle of the colo and then we'll add in a souf. bit of souf. Now, atar. <laughs> Is the knot tight? We'll mix them well. People who want the dabokolo can add it, and those who don't want it won't. <laughs> then we'll add our mixture of oil and barberry. Now we'll start mixing them up with our hand. Like this. And does the recipe depend on the preparer? I mean, uh, some people might add more berbere than you, some people might add more oil. How does it uh, work? Yes, it differs from person to person. If it's not fasting season, some use kebe as well. Okay. They mix kebe and berbere. But if it's fasting season, we use cooking okay. oil. Is it tastier with kebe or oil? It's more delicious when it's made with kebe. <laughs> yes, it should always be mixed well. You can eat it now if you want. I always eat it. And then she actually Yeah, you couldn't do it. You can do it with some practice. <laughs> so usually when can you eat colo? When you're drinking coffee when there's like so. Lexo means funeral. We serve kolo during funerals. We also serve nephro. People eat kolo and get together during funerals. Now we're going to drink coffee, so you should wash your hands. Thank you. We used enadam for a lot of things. We use them for coffee, for berbere. It can also be used as medicine for stomach aches. It's very useful. It's a medicine. Yeah, it smells good. The coffee tastes good, right? Oh. Do it like this. Good. Does it burn? Yes, it burns a bit. A bit. 
በጣም አመሰግናለሁ እኔም በጣም አመሰግናለሁ ስለመጣሽ I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of ETA to Z see you all next time